Hello guys, Major Colton here with another build tutorial, and today I'm just letting you all see and I'm showing you guys this fuck around build that I ended up making that actually probably could be good in certain situations. And before I get started, I'm just going to tell you it's got like really high armor and it's also got like 52,000 AP. So it's the best of both. This tank right here is the best of both worlds between an AP tank and an armor tank. The only downside is because it's so all that shit is really fucking slow. So that's why it has all that massive armor, crap ton of AP, and it's really slow. So I have nicknamed it the Wall. And let's get to it. As for the frame legs, I'm using are the LET A D14 Hykibos, and while they are slow as shit. The other ones just won't give me enough CE armor to block out Stracosas, and this thing's going to be so slow, you're only taking them battle rifle hits to the face with grace, and you won't care, because you just won't. Because you're going to have so much armor, you're going to, that no matter, all their weapons are going to do ineffective damage. And then you have so much AP that even if they tried to damage race you, even if they're using ping damage weapons, there's just, there's just no way that they would win because you'd be packing, as you can see, dual auto cannons. So even if they did try and damage race you, there's no way in hell that they're going to because you're going to be just shredding them with the auto cannons. And then you can, I like to have the SUJ G27 medium missiles on here for, so that you can do massive CE damage. Normally I like to roll with the VDF missiles and, and whatnot, and those would have the same flight pattern as your auto cannon shots, but it's good to have not only KE defense in case they have a KE shield, have this medium missile so that if, even if they're dual wielding like a KE shield and a CE shield, this shit will rip that crap off in no time. And let's get to the rest of the flat frame. As for the arms, I chose the ARM W48 Hykipo Retrofit Arms. And that's because, well, CE armor, high AP. Same for that. As for the core, for this specific build, you want to use the Tamakazura Model 1, the Alice Retrofit. And that's because they are the AP CE armor parts. They stack on the shit ton, the metric shit ton. Like, if you just got a sumo wrestler, this is his metric shit ton, and you just put it on this damn thing, and then you are just got your armor, as you can see, and then you just got a fuck ton of AP. Like, there's, like, someone sees this, and they're, you're spraying auto cans, and they're not doing any damage to you, and then you have all that AP. They're just going to fucking not know what the hell to do, and that is, like I said, why it is codenamed The Wall. As for the head, HDG A88 for CE and KE armor, not really KE armor, but CE armor and AP reasons. <clears throat> As for the generator, you want to use the Makabashira Model 3, simply because you're going to be slow as shit, so you're just going to need to have that massive energy capacity to be able to be mobile. And FSL E28 Ot Crit FCS so that you can have the 250 range. So if they're using anything other than an Ot Crit, you know, you have the extra 50 range. Keep them where they can't lock on to you or you can use that to break their lock or you can use it to, you know, get start firing off your shots before they start firing and then they start panicking. And uh, it's got 19 lock on range size so that if they do try and circle around you because you're going to be slow as shit, you know, you can... We stay, tanks already have the stationary turning that's like really fast like if you don't move and you turn you turn extra fast but with this 19 lock on size you um you know you're gonna be able to keep that lock on with your auto cannons and just keep pelting them with the unholy hail of damage as well as having you don't really need the lock computation for the guns because you know auto cannons don't have very much of a base lock on time but since you do have that massive ba missile lock computation you're going to be smacking with a, a lot of, you know, high damage, effective damage from the missiles. And you launch four of those babies, like, out of your shoulder. That's like, basically, you know, you're going to have these dual auto cans spraying and praying. Like, not, like, just pelting the shit out of them. Like, if you think Gatling guns do damage, these do twice as much damage. Okay, and sometimes if their build is shitty enough, you'll get effective damage on them. And literally when that happens, they die in like five seconds. Like, they just, 
It's like if you just got a sheet of paper and you just stomped it to death, like, while holding it. And, but like I was saying, these missiles, 23, 25. So imagine, like, Cersei's shots from, you know, the bow rifle, the Bra 125. Imagine just taking a four-shot Bra 125 that was homing, and you just launched the sh all the shells out of your shoulder over and over again, and they just kept pelting the guy in the face while you shredded him up with this. Not a fun experience, let me tell you. As for the recon unit, I chose the REX A13 because it's got 320 recon range, plenty well enough for this tank. 9,000 operational time. You can have them all over the place since you can have five out at the same time. And it's got low energy consumption as compared to the other ones, so that's always a plus from builds like this. As for the back, I'm right-handed, so I stuck my, car my medium parasol on the right-hand side. AUL K37, fully spec for power, 12 shots of pure carnage. Now, I chose the 12 shots simply because by the time my missiles and auto cannons are out of ammo, there's not going to be much left of them. You probably won't even need half this ammo. But if you're in a conquest, you know, it's good to have, you know, at least 12 ammo so you don't want to run like the four shot or nothing. Like, you just don't. But if you find your, that, you know, your other teammates are lacking and you're going to have to pick up the pace for a handful of extra shots, you know, you could always go with the four shot. But I say just stick with the 12 shot because you know, you're, after those 12 shots, even no matter who they are, they're going to hurt. And then on the left side, you could run a second Karasawa. You could. That, but I instead put the AM Shaw 302 on. And you could also use AM Shaw 207. You know, if you're feeling real fancy, if you fit, think the enemy's going to run like, an, like, you know, sniper cannons or cannons, you could. But by default, if not, you want to run the AM Shaw 302 because it's got almost 8,000 more AP to stack on the year 52,000. So if push came to shove, all in all, you got around 60,000 AP, 1542KE armor, 2810C armor, and 3160KE armor. So CE armor wise, no battle rifle's gonna touch you. TE armor wise, pretty much no laser rifle's obviously gonna touch you. I mean, carousel, full of power, like, you know, two four shot carousel might scratch you, but it's going to be a waste of their ammo to use it on your tank Then instead of the other people around. So you don't got nothing to worry about in that department. And in KE-wise, everything from the land port down is ineffective. Literally the only things that will do effective damage are the Tansies and the Solondulas, which are, you know, the high damage rifles, but they have crazy low rate of fire. And in comparison to even if they are getting effective damage, like dual wielding them, like if they're counter building you, it doesn't even matter. Because these auto cannons and the missiles do sheer amount of damage. There's no way they can out damage you. And on top of that, you got the crap ton of AP. So there, that's a lost cause. And even if you felt like they were owning you, maybe because of like your own personal reasons, you still got this KE shield out. Just whip that out with the one auto cannon and just make short work of them where they can't even damage you. And that's about it. Now let's, let's show you the wall. Nobody can. Nobody. No slugs, I'll slap you with God giving strength. From a lot of time spent in the gym on the bench. Uh -huh. On the incline, my numbers is divine. Uh -huh. Greatest of all time, yeah. the strongest man breathing. Uh -huh. Nothing but heavy hits, hands harder than bricks. I'm ready uh -huh. me to the words, getting your ass kicked. Uh -huh. No walls, no bolos, hands get flown, bro. Uh -huh. Torso get squeezed, suckers ribs get broke. Uh -huh. Pumps, better look out, the walls gon' fall. Uh -huh. Right up on your crew, and crush them all. Uh -huh. you against me like a bullet against a tank. Made it still, you chumps is wet pants. Yeah. When you come to it and you can't go through it and you can't knock it down, you know that you found the wall, the wall, the wall. No man on earth.
to make you fall. When you come to it and you can't go, go it and you can't knock it down. You know that you found the wall. The wall. The wall. No man on earth can make you fall. Mountain wide, no you I'm skyscraping. So massive, I break scales on the way in. The world's strongest pull bones out of sockets. When snap like a dance, you'll be begging me to stop it. A big black wall that'll block out the sun. Bodies get to fly when I clap without a gun. I eat you little geeks like mama's home cooking. The fuss from about an hour before the bell rung. So intimidating. Not the one that you want to see aggravated. Slightly agitated, in cold quarters. The wall came in. In the fall of a big man. Six, four, three, eight. Like a lady, no ifs, ands, or maybes. My heart when it's crazy and broke is broke. Make it easy to smash you through. The way you come to it, and you can't go through it, and you can't knock it down. You know that you found the wall, the wall, the wall. No man on earth can make it fall. The way you come to it, and you can't go through it, and you can't knock it down. You know that you found the wall. Like my 